And here we are at the second semi-final of the lightweight Grand Prix up to 71 kilograms. And now for the blue corner, we are inviting to the cage, coming from Poland, Jakub Swiderski. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome for the red corner, the fighter from Moldova, Vitae Okay, let's find some info about the fighters. At the age of 23 years, height 1.76 meters, weighing in 71 kilograms and with a record of 14 fighters, fights out of which 12 wins and two losses, representing team Red Lion Mieczysz Podlaski, coming from Poland in the blue corner, Jakub Sviderski. And at the age of 29 years, height 1 meter 78 centimeters, weighing in 71 kilograms, with nine fights in the record, out of which seven wins and two losses, representing Thai Boxing Club from Moldova in the red corner, Vitalie Panayte. This is the second semi-final lightweight Grand Prix up to 71 kilograms, three rounds, three minutes each, extra one round, K1 rules, referee Mihai Nani. Okay, gentlemen, listen to my commands. Let's have a clean fight. No clinching, no elbows. Check your hands. Back to your corners. Judge, 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 time. Fight. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Touch of gloves are Second semi-final matchup is underway here at FIA Championship Takeoff. My name is Daniel Austin here at Cage Side to call the action for you in this one. And uh, starting off slow, but believe me, things are going to get interesting very quickly. I got a feeling about it. You heard the. Uh, the support, the applause for Panaite. He is the only Moldovan fighter in the uh, lightweight Grand Prix. So I'm sure he's got the full support of all of his countrymen here in Moldova. I know that there's a lot of people watching Back in Poland, too, where I live. Oh, and Świderski lands a good shot upstairs. We're very invested in these tournaments, not only this lightweight tournament in, in support of Świderski, but also in the welterweight tournament is uh, Vladimir Hinzu, who is Ukrainian, will also be competing, but he does live and train in Poland. Fight. Oh, and there it is. There's a nice turning back kick there by Panaite, and that's just a little taste of what's yet to come. Oh, and he went upstairs that time, and he wobbled him. Svidensky got caught with a kick at the top of the head. There's another back kick now. Panaite looking a step or two ahead. Svidersky comes marching in now. I think that Svidersky could be shaken here. He's trying to make the best of a bad situation. He's really putting the pressure on, trying to be aggressive here and not let Panaite set up any more of those kicks. Ooh, nice left hand that time. And Svidersky comes flying in with a knee now. Inside 30 seconds in round one. Panaite switching up his stances here. Oh boy, stuck him with a left hand. Oh my. Shiderski's getting clobbered here. Trying to rough him up there. Shiderski looks a little bit wobbly in there. Axe kick now by the Moldovan. 
End of round one. Well, there are a couple of very close calls there in round number one for Jakub Sridelski. He got caught with a couple of very good shots there from Panaite, who was able to show just exactly what has made him famous here in FIA. And it's those turning kicks of his. Look at that one. I think it was... Uh, Almost like the Seconds ankle, out. it looked like, or the side of the foot, which caught uh, Shvidersky in the top of the head. And then later on, a couple Five. of other shots that wobbled Five. him as well. Well, hopefully for Shvidersky's sake, he was able to shake that off between the rounds. Sometimes all you need is 60 seconds to pull yourself together. Oh boy, he's getting caught though. I don't think he was able to pull himself together. Oh! <laughs> Shvidersky says he's ready to go. I don't believe him. That was one heck of a shot there. And I can see now the confidence of Panaite is through the roof here in the futsal arena. Zvidersky has got to figure out something else here. He's, he cannot allow Panaite to do what he's doing here. He's got to be able to close that distance and get inside here. He's a shorter fighter. And Panaite works so well on the outside. He, he's got to be able to get inside. He's got to make this a, uh, a very physical uh, contest at a close distance. Otherwise, Panate is going to pick him apart on the outside. There we go. That's what he's got to do. He's got to rough him up, push him around. Body kick goes in from the pole. Panate with one of those turning kicks again now. And look at the way he steps back. Keeps that distance. Keeps him right where he wants him. Shvidersky comes flying in. Can't quite get what he wants, though. Inside a minute now in round two, the winner goes on to the final to face Kalim Petrashor of Romania. Oh, he got caught with a left hand that time. Shvidersky got in one of his own. Ten second hammer goes down. Fiderski digs in and Panaite goes down awkwardly. Look at that. Another turning kick on the bell. Didn't quite get all of it though. Rough night at the office here for Jakub Shvidersky. Let's go back and take another look, ladies and gentlemen, at what went down here. That was that knockdown. Shvidersky tried to get up as quickly as he could to try to save the ref. Look, nothing happened. But we all saw what happened. Seconds out. 
Mouth guard. Time. Fight. Round three. Here we go, folks. Third and final round here. And on the cards, Petra Shore is, or excuse me, Panaite is way ahead. And he could be going on to face Petra Shore. But we don't know yet. Still one more round here. But uh, Shvidersky is going to have to end it if he's going to win it here. Still, he, he's got that ability too, believe me. I've seen him. He does have KO power. He's going to, oh boy, he's in trouble here though. I saw his knee buckle there as he got caught by a shot as he was coming in. Shvidersky's really going to have to pull a rabbit out of his hat here. Oh boy. Got a good one in there that time. Mixing it up there, lands a good knee to the breath basket. Does Shvidersky. Walked right into a left hand that time. Nicely placed shot there by the Moldovan. Panaite has got a big welt under his left eye there. Both guys looking worse for the wear at this point, and Panaite has noticeably slowed down here in round three. I don't know if that's intentional or if he's gassed. Maybe he knows that he's still got a potential you know, three more rounds ahead of him in the final. Maybe he's just trying to coast to a victory, but you don't want to have to take any more necessary damage. And in my opinion, the more aggressive that Panaite is, the less damage he's going to take. He needs to use that movement. He needs to move around the ring. He needs to keep throwing to keep Shvidersky away from him. Inside 30 seconds now. Oh, wait a minute. That was kind of a late shot. Shvidersky, this is by far his best round here. Whoa! Battling it out hard here in the final seconds. And that's the way it ends. But uh, even though that was by far Shvidersky's best round, I got a feeling that this thing is not going to go his way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's find out here who wins this matchup. Let's find out who moves on to the finals to face Kali Petrashor. We're going to send it up to the cage and Vladimir Marakochi in just a moment for the final decision. And the judge's decision is Red Corner, Vitali Panaite. Wow, what a final we are going to have here, ladies and gentlemen. Vitali Panaite in Kalin Petrashor in the final of the FIA Championship Lightweight Grand Prix coming up later tonight. Up next, we kick off the Welterweight Grand Prix. Don't you dare go anywhere. We'll be right back. Take a look, ladies and gentlemen. 
at the tournament brackets. There it is, Petr Shore and Panayi.